Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to a brand new video. In this video, we'll be testing my own strategy on crypto. Before we get into the video, guys, I have a very exciting thing to announce. As you guys know, I offer my one-on-one -on -one mentorship. I've been fully booked for a while now. I opened up spots and I have like a massive, massive waiting list already, but I decided to keep it small and I decided to take only on a handful of students because I really want to keep my focus on trading, of course. I'm still a trader first and a mentor and YouTube creator second. So I found a solution for that. I will be creating a mentorship group. Basically, in this group, I will be doing a live session every single week where we can do Q&As, where we can review your trades, where we can review your setups. I will be doing two market breakdowns every single week. I will be reviewing viewing the trade of the week and I will be giving a trade ID every single week. So basically I think this will be something that is really advanced and I will be releasing this in May. In the first week of May we will start with this mentorship group. I think this is something really cool and that is something that will bring you steps ahead for sure. Be aware though I really want to keep this limited so there will be a waiting list to join. If you want to keep updated on this join my free telegram. I made a free telegram where you can keep updated with everything that's going on with the channel with everything that's coming out. I will be dropping news events in there. I will also be dropping some free breakdowns in there, some trade IDs, every single thing. So yeah free telegram join to keep updated about the group and let's get into the video. Okay guys we're again in FX replay. We are going to create a session and this time we are going to try out Bitcoin. BTC USD. I've never traded Bitcoin. Um, I invested in Bitcoin like long term a long time ago. I think the last time I saw I saw a Bitcoin chart while I was actively investing in it was maybe like 2019, 2020. So I have no idea what Bitcoin has done um, since then. I know it is now around 30k and I know of course when it has its peaks and everything like that because I used to trade or I used to invest in altcoins in 2020 and 2021. Other than that, I really don't know how it goes and I really don't know how the market looks like, how the charts look like. So I'm completely new to this. Basically, let's just take like a random year, like 2020 and let's just zoom in April, the 5th of April, so that we have a full week and then the end date up till now. So yeah, I'm really curious to see how this will work out. Basically, the same strategy that I used in my last video, basically just going at it, higher time for point of interest and scaling down from there. So let's see what we can make from this. Let's go to the four hour at first. Let's minimize this. Yeah, perfect. Four hour. Okay, what can we see? Bitcoin, Bitcoin is at 6.8K. Okay, so basically we came down a lot. I see a lot of gaps in the market already. I see a lot of gaps in the market. Um, and if there is something that I learned from gaps in the market is that they will most of the time get filled. So this already will be a point of interest for me. This gap in the market right here. This is a four hour fair value gap. Four hour fair value gap right here this is of course a four alpha very gap this is a four alpha very gap and there's an older block above here so these are also points in the markets that we want to take a look at uh, i'm not going to mark up this one because we're already in this one but i will mark up the higher ones so these are points in the market that we want to take a look at what price is going to do once we hit these zones right so four hour five early gap right here another four hour five early gap right here and then we have this four hour older block right here always draw on my older block from weeks to weeks so four hour ob exactly okay let's go to the one hour and let's see another thing by the way you can you can trade crypto over the weekends so there's also another thing that, that will be different from forex of course okay let's let's map out structure first if, as you can see we are quite bullish on the one hour we have higher highs and higher lows so we want to see a continuation of that going up higher up to these zones right here to see a possible reversal happening from here if price is going to break this low this means we will have changed structure we will be going from higher highs and higher lows to lower lows and lower highs so let's see what is going to happen of course we don't break structure because we are very bullish baby so right now we have an order block right here a one hour order block right here one hour order block right here we have a one hour for value gap right here and this is just me testing it out guys i've never done this and i'm just curious and excited to see how it works and if it even works let's see if we get a pullback of some kind, we don't at the moment now, where now we took out these highs right here and we're just climbing up, right? It doesn't really matter if it gives us this pullback or not. If we climb up to the zone that we get a reaction out of here, it's still good. So we got the first reaction out of there. We tapped into this four hour fair value gap. And as you can see, we got a strong reaction coming out of this zone. Go to the 15 minutes. 15 minute gives us a displacement move down. The only thing that annoys me is that we didn't take out a low. So basically we can map this out, 15 minute fair value gap. 
And basically what I now want to see, because we didn't take out the low, I want to see a reaction happening out of this 15. Now we did take out the low. So let's see on the one hour what this looks like. Okay, so this is quite of a strong displacement move already. We have this one hour third valley gap right here now. So this will be our one hour point of interest. And this will be the zone and the place where we are taking a short position from. And we are going to put our stop loss above here. I don't know how these pips and points work in Bitcoin, but I'm just throwing it on there. Whenever I would try and trade crypto because I want to trade this live, like just to, to try it out sometime, um, I have to get into that. Maybe if someone of you can, can tell me this in the comments how this works and that would be highly appreciated. Okay, so this will be the order. Let's see how it goes. 50 minutes. Ah, I ended on a market order. Okay, let's delete this. Let's not look at the stats, right? <laughs> Place order again. Limit order. This is better. We got filled. 50 minutes. Fervetti gap got filled right here. Very this will be the this would have been a very nice entry. Okay, we got stopped out. That's no worries. Let's see what price is going to do when we get further and higher than this. And um, let's just analyze this by the way, real quick, where we turn around. We turn around and around here. Um, is there something that we've been taking out? We, we took out this low right here, and then we basically got a kind of a move up for very gap left here, and this could have been your entry. Other than that, I don't see a reason for this trade to be that wrong. So let's go to the one hour, and I just see if there is something happening right now. Oh, okay, this looks interesting. There's a lot of displacement coming down, and a lot of displacement coming back up again. Okay, so basically, I'm going to take a shot at this one. This is a 15 minute for value gap. And again, guys, this is based on this one hour and this four hour rejection out of this zone, right? So basically, that is where it started. And then we have the 15 minutes for value gap right here. Let's even scale it down to a five. Maybe there is something that we can see on there. Not really, not really, but it is a good, dis good displacement zone. So let's take our entry here. Let's put our stops above these highs. Let's just take a one over two target. Maybe watch these points of sabotage right here. And one over two target is quite a while away. And it is on the low. So basically, once we hit our target, we have shifted market structure on the one hour. And um, so this will be a risky and significant trade, but we can still try it out, of course. So let's place the order like this. And then we are going to watch price. We are filled. Right now we have entered our point of sabotage right here, um, bullish order block and the fair value gap. So let's see if we can go through that. So you can see strong reaction coming out of the zone, right? Now there's a 15 minute fair value gap right here. Again, strong reaction and bam, take profit hit. So basically that is what I mean with these point of sabotage. I'm not saying that this is a point in the market where price will definitely reverse, but I'm only saying that this is a point in the market where it will definitely be a reaction coming out of there. And if there is a reaction coming out of there, sometimes it's not worth the risk of keeping your trade open, right? In this case, it definitely was. So right now, one over two trades. So basically we're up 1%. And one winner, one loser. Exactly how the strategy goes, 50% win rate, one of the two trades is a winner. So it's evening and let's see what we can do and what we're going to do. Let's skip the night because of course we're not going to trade overnight. Then we have a strong reaction coming out of here. Very, very bullish. So basically we want to remain this momentum and we want to remain bullish. So basically we got this reaction out of this older block right here. Um, let me see on the 15 minutes, maybe a bit more clear. Yeah, this zone right here, basically, this other block right here started it all, right? It started this whole move. And you could also you could also argue that it is, the, yeah, maybe it is even this one, actually. It is this one, actually. Like this, perfect. So basically, this other block started the whole move. And right now, on the one hour, we have our point of interest area right here. I'm not going to map out this one because I think it is a bit too high for my liking. I want to see a reaction coming out of here before I enter my trade. So let's see on the 50 minutes, we are coming down and um, maybe we can even refine it to this 50 minute for value gap right here and just take our entry at the zone once we get a reaction coming out of there. So you can see a lot of consolidation in the fair value gap. Okay, right now we shifted 15 minute structure. So basically we went from lower lows and lower highs to higher high and higher lows right here. So right now I want to see an entry 
in this zone. Basically, I, I, I don't really have an entry 15 minute wise. So let's zoom in on the five minute. Maybe we can see it a bit more clear. I want to take my trade here. So basically, this is the five minute fair value gap where you are here. And it's combined with a five minute older block. And it's also a 15 minute older block, by the way. So basically, I want to take my entry here. This is more of a, a more aggressive trade, I would say. But nonetheless, it can work out very good, of course. So then we are targeting go to the one hour. And as you can see, we have our low right here. And this is a higher low that has been created, most probably. So we can most probably target a higher high. And that would mean that we would take out this high on the one hour. So let's place our order. Got filled. Okay, right here. So there's our trade, by the way. Right here, we have a 50 minute fair value gap being filled perfectly again. And we went straight through to the stop loss. And we got a 1.5 R out of it. Of course, it's not our target hit. So we can delete this rate and we can count this as a loss. Let's see why it's reversed on us or if we can see why it's reversed on us. Let's go into one hour. Okay, so basically we created a lower high. So basically now we have three lower highs in a row. So it is safe to say that we can shift our bias to bearish. We also broke this low. So basically on the 50 minutes, we're also bearish. And now we can look for point of interest areas on the one hour for a bearish trade. So basically this is a one hour order block and I think this will be enough already. Um, let's see where price is going to reverse to. One hour order block, displacement coming up. Wow, Bitcoin is doing crazy things, bro. Displacement out, displacement in. Okay, very volatile. That's very cool and very scary to see. <laughs> So let's see what it's doing. Okay, so basically Bitcoin can, okay, so this is something that I need to learn. Bitcoin can do this, and then immediately after that, just throw it around. Just throw it to the other way. Okay, right now we're entering a 50 minute order block right here. I'm still bearish. Even though the volume is very, very much going bullish, I'm still bearish on this one until I've been proven wrong. Okay, so basically I think there were a lot of entries in here that I missed. Um, yeah, five minutes down. So this was a good displacement. We created a low, we created a lower high, we created a lower low. So basically you had your five minute entry right here. Bam, five minute order block, five minutes fair value gap, I'm sorry. Five minutes fair value gap, entry, stops, take profits, let us see. Bam, of course, hit. Okay, I missed this one due to going too fast. I need to go a bit slower. Okay, let's see what is happening now. So we created this lower high, we created this lower low, so basically I'm still targeting bearish. Maybe we can target this 15 minute order block right here. This one, okay, bam. Okay, let's go in the five minute and let's watch it a bit closer. Okay, let's just enter trade right here. It's at the beginning of the order block, stops above here. Um, let's keep our targets and let's search for a point of Sabotage, that's really none, so basically target the lows. Then we can place our order. This will be a market order because we are exactly at the beginning of the fair value gap. Uh, order block, I'm sorry. Five minutes. Go further. As you can see, we're going down a lot. A 2R has been hit already. And bam, take profit has been smashed. Wow, it has been smashed very, very hard. Okay, so that gives us 3.5% profits. I think this is basically it for the video. Um, that was basically just seeing how this works on on Bitcoin and as you could see it, it was a 50% win rate again Yeah, so basically I have to test it even more to confidently say that it works on Bitcoin But for now it seems to work just fine guys If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like down below Don't forget to join the free telegram group in the description first link and I will see you in the next one Bye bye guys